what's going on, everybody? Yeah, I just want to get on here and uh, bring everybody back to now. <laughs> Appreciate y'all being here and, uh, you know, vibing with me for a bit. Um, yeah, I had an issue, you know, trying to do a live stream. So I'm just going to, like, do a, uh, a recording or whatever and, um, you know, upload this, um, you know, whenever. <laughs> you know, I don't understand what's going on with YouTube and their, their live stream. You know, everything looked good, you know, for a second, but then it was just... Um, you know, just basically like a black, unavailable screen. You know, so hopefully, hopefully this records okay, and I don't spend um, a quote unquote <laughs> a lot of time, you know, doing uh, this recording that just uh, doesn't end up working. So, um, yeah, I just wanted to get on here and kind of share what's going on with the, me and you know my little bubble. And um, yeah, well, let me do a screen capture. Yeah, and so this that's not working. <laughs> yeah, and so um yeah, I wanted to get on here and kinda of talk about um you know some of the things that's been kinda of hitting my radar, you know, and part of that has to do with um kind of you know, just I don't I don't know how to describe it. I just am getting to a point where I can't um I can't just sit and watch the same video, the set you know, the quote unquote truth um videos that are out there and it's just like um I just feel it draining, you know, it feels like a, a draining of my spirit anymore, just watching these things, because in a lot of ways, I don't even vibe like that anymore, you know, I kind of just focus, you know, basically on just the walk, you know, honestly, you know, and just one day at a time, you know, I, I, I get that there's evil, you know, and there's evil in high places, and you know, you have, you have um, you know, what, you know, Satan's doing in the realm, you know, but, you know, to me, um, you know, he's a powerless parasite. You know, I'm, I'm more concerned on what God's doing in the realm, you know, and, and living the life um, that he created me to have and do what um, kind of what he, um, you know, wants me to be doing. You know, and it seems like just from my experience of this thing, you know, that, um, you know, it's a lot about um, dropping a lot of this fear, you know, step one, you know, growing, you know, love and faith and, you know, believing what he was saying, but then also, you know, following Jesus and kind of living by, you know, the, um, uh, the teachings that Jesus put out, you know, forgiving people, not judging people, you know, loving people ultimately, you know, and I, I'm not really feeling that vibe, you know, so much in the true community, you know, sad to say, but like, um, and that's not like a blanket statement, you know, I mean, there's obviously a whole lot of love in like uh, you know, these different communities, but there's like an isolation, you know, there's a disconnect that I keep feeling, you know, and um, I'd like to start to bridge that uh, in just my physical, you know, surroundings, you know, connecting, you know, heart to heart with people, you know, in, in just my local area, you know, I, I believe that we're all kind of like positioned or born into, you know, a space or, or whatever. These different situations align themselves to, you know, you're here, you're, you're, you're here now, <laughs> you know, where you're at, you know, for a reason. Everything, you know, to me is so deliberate and orchestrated, you know, that um, e even just kind of your location, you know, where I'm at, where you're at, you know, there's, there's stuff we can be doing to, um, you know, spread love and joy and peace you know, and ultimately cast out this fear, you know, in other people, you know, and um, kind of what I've been doing, you know, is just um, kind of just, I wouldn't say distancing, distancing, you know, it's more of a, you know, um, stepping away from it, you know, I've been so inundated with like New World Order shit and just like um, B system, you know, it, to me, it, it, it feels more like a mental prison, you know, that that people are putting uh, themselves in, you know, when the Bible talks about, you know, Jesus, you know, freed us from that prison, you know, give a, you know, give us life and life more abundantly, you know, I, I believe that, you know, and so, um, you know, I also believe that, you know, behold, all things are new, you know, and this experience going forward, you know, is, is one to, um, kind of explore and and see what's uh, possible you know it, it ultimately just feels like a relationship you know after a while you know it's like uh, you start seeing all these synchronicities and you start like learning you know these different lessons you know from just um 
it's so wild how it all works but it's just like um where it leads me to is a place of just like um joy and peace and and, and love you know and i get where a lot of people are you're seeing like the evil you know but it's like um you know because that happened to me too you know i went through a period of time maybe a season you could call it that you know where everything was just like a satanic truman show you know it's, it's all all you can see is just some satanic thing after satanic thing you know but coming out of that you know through faith and just seeing how god is is, is real and in control of everything you know that starts to melt away you know and you start seeing how you know the the kindness and the joy and, and the and the happiness in people you know and you also you know see suffering that people are in when they're just trapped in this carnal you know just getting tormented by fear um you know it makes you want to uh to help them in some way you know give back on some level you know and like um you know share some hope you know because that's the thing i get with the truth community all the time it just feels like such a hopeless thing you know but it's like uh, kind of where i'm at you know it's like every day i wake up and it's just like a peace you know it's nothing nothing broke apart you know nothing catastrophic happened you know you thank god that every day you wake up there there isn't you know something crazy happening you know thank you know thank god for the peace you know thank god for um another day <laughs> you know basically and it, it just changes your perspective you know i keep uh, you know trying to like venture out you know because i still you know have like a it's maybe like a stronghold of like um like watching things you know through a screen you know to you know i don't have like a tv but you know i do watch netflix you know and trying to um you know look for you know the good and everything you know and not look at people you know as being an enemy you know, looking at people as all, you know, being connected. You know, looking at, you know, the enemy as just being a spiritual enemy. You know, not the people themselves. You know, not to classify and lump people in with the evil. You know, even if there's, like, evil going on. You know, trying to, um, you know, forgive and, and pray that God bless them. You know, and save them. And everybody that they know and, and care about. You know... And as you're doing that, you know, it's weird because it has an impact on you. The more that you start to, I guess, pray just for other people, you know, and it sincerely mean it, you know, it's, it's like, um, you know, par- you know, prayers are powerful, you know, and, um, you know, it's not something that you maybe, um, I don't know, I don't want to tell you what to do, but it's just like, you know, for me, you know, just, um, kind of walking around in that kind of a space you know just trying to give on some level you know even if it's just a smile you know or a kind word you know it's crazy how much it just lights people up you can see it you know and um you know as you're doing that you know even if maybe they're in a state of fear or just in carnal mode or you know who knows you know maybe you know the evil you know is puppeting you know their thoughts you know be, being able to be still and to look past that and look at the person that god created you know and try to build up their spirit not sit there and condemn and judge them you know and ultimately you know try to to you know share love and um you know with the uh, the whole netflix thing you know i've been kind of focusing more on like uh you know, maybe like Christian shows on some level, you know, um, but I ended up watching uh, this one, you know, I'm not limiting, you know, things to that, but, you know, just trying to find the good is, is what I'm kind of seeking, you know, the, the, the kindness and the hope, you know, not just this, you know, uh, you know, me, 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 you know, ego, ego, ego thing. You know, and I ended up, you know, checking out this show. It's called The Kindness Diaries. And it was a really high vibing show. Yeah, you know, I recommend all you, you know, if you have Netflix, check it out. You know, because, it, you know, it was touching. You know, it, it was this, basically, I don't want to be a spoiler, but this guy was, like, um, on this, like, kind of adventure. You know, he was going from, like, uh, Alaska down to, like, Argentina. <laughs> you know, basically with no money. 
and just relying on the kindness of strangers to get them from Alaska to Argentina. You know, it, it, was, it was touching, you know, to see the good in people, you know, that, you know, strangers would fill up his tank, you know, and it was shocking to me, you know, because he would stay at people's houses, you know, complete strangers, you know, just ask, you know, ask, you know, ask if, um, hey, I don't have a roof over my head tonight, could I, you know, stay at your house? Complete stranger, <laughs> you know, and, you know, they did people feeding him, you know, dinner and gave him a place to stay for the night and he was off. You know, and it reminded me, um, that, that happened to me uh, at one point, you know, and, and I, I'm glad it happened, you know, but like at the time, uh, I was really uh, anxious about it. And what happened, and it, if it was up to me, it probably wouldn't have happened. You know, you probably just thank my wife for this uh <laughs> this experience but like uh, what happened was my neighbor uh, basically she um, had this boyfriend or whatever that came up from um, the south I forget it was like Mississippi or Arkansas or, I don't know they, I can't remember exactly where they like came from but like uh, they were new to the area and like um, you know basically her dad lived in that that trailer next to my house and like I was like friendly with them and and you know we'd have like cookouts and stuff he'd cook food we'd go out and go over there and eat and you know vice versa and stuff like that and so um what ended up happening though it was like uh yeah he ended up bringing up his his daughter and she brought her boyfriend and they ended up uh you know splitting up or whatever and like uh yeah he was only around not very long <laughs> before this happened, you know, and what, what what ended up happening was he didn't have a place to stay because she kicked him out. And so uh, my wife was just like, um, yeah, you can stay with us. And then she told me after that, <laughs> like she didn't really talk to me about, you know, what I thought about that. And she just, she just went ahead and did that, you know, and, you know, me, you know, when, when that happened, uh, the, the fear and the carnal was going full steam, you know, because it was like, I mean, we don't even know this person, you know, like, uh, you know, what, what, here you go, he's gonna, what if, um, what if he's a serial killer, what if he's a psychopath, you know, what if, what if, you know, worst case scenario, you know, and like, uh, or, you know, what if he don't want to leave, you know, what if he uh, now all of a sudden wants to be a roommate or something, <laughs> and, and, and like, uh, what ended up happening was that basically, um, you know, she was a lot kinder to him than I was, you know, but like I told him, you know, it's like, you know, you stay the weekend here, but like, um, you know, you gotta try to get on your feet or something. You can't just stay, you know, indefinitely. You know, I got, you know, three girls upstairs and, um, yeah, you know, we got tight on money and everything else. And it was just like, uh, you know, my, my fear would be like, um, oh, you know, he would just, uh, excuse after excuse. Like, I just need a couple more days. I just need, <laughs> that was, that was what the carnal was, you know, talking in my ear. But, you know, ended up let him stay you know and um <laughs> he ended up kind of just putting me in a weird space but like um yeah it, he after the weekend and uh, uh you know moving in with another neighbor and um yeah and got on his feet and got a job and you know now uh yeah he's not in that situation anymore but um <laughs> you know but this guy you know going from um uh, Alaska all the way down to uh, Argentina. I mean, look, look at this, you know, world map. Let's see. There's a big one out. How do I specify that? Tools. Do a large one here. Let's pull this up. Yeah, so he was like way up here, and he and his end trip was down here, with like zero money and this like old um, little VW bug, which was um, kind of synchronistic for me, uh, just because um, the VW logo. You know, a lot of people uh, do the the Volkswagen logo. You know, a lot of people don't remember it having this space uh, in it. 
just remember it being just a one continuous, you know, logo, you know, and, and so it was, it was like that kind of like a little trigger, you know, a little Mandela effect trigger, you know, he's driving around in a Volkswagen love bug <laughs> and, uh, you know, and it had, uh, you know, the space and you seen that like the first thing. And so like, to me, I took that as like a, like a, oh, it's like a little spiritual, um, little trigger or something. I mean, not trigger, but just like a little marker or something to, to just like, okay, maybe there might be something to this show. You know, and it was a really touching show and you've seen a different side of people and it gets portrayed in that, you know, a lot of media or everybody, you know, it almost seems like it's this fear, pride, ego, you know, material. How much can I, you know, kind of hoard, you know, and like, uh, you know, this was like refreshing, you know, I've been getting more, you know, exposed to that kind of, uh, vibe of shows, you know, or vibe of just, you know, things hitting my radar, you know, seeing like a brighter side of things, you know, and like, uh, you know, with that, you know, also, you know, contrasting that with like maybe something coming out of the true community. I mean, I'd go from like binge watching, I, I watched that entire, um, everything on that show, <laughs> you know, in just one sitting, I couldn't get enough of it because it was awesome to know, you know, there's good people out there doing, doing, doing awesome things. You know, there's one, a, you know, kind of spot. I think it was, I don't, I don't necessarily remember, but you know, when he was like down in like this part of South America, you know, there's a lot of poverty or whatever, you know, in like the specific town, it was just like, and you know, a lot of it, you know, and there was a Catholic priest that was down there, you know, and just like, uh, you know, feeding the kids down there and like, uh, you know, spreading love and hope to, to these people, you know, and like, uh, yeah, you, you almost get this same type of thing. Oh, you know, the, the priest, you know, whatever, you know, some judgmental, you know, thing coming from the carnal you know but i look at all these christian denominations you know anymore you know as um it's their faith you know i mean because like part of like this journey you know, i guess for me is like trying to figure out the truth you know and that's the thing with the truth community you know is a lot of it um doesn't focus around jesus you know and jesus is the truth so um you know as far as i'm concerned you know, if that's not part of, like, kind of a person's perspective, you know, and they're in, like, a the conspiracy truth uh, community, it's like, uh, you're you're still missing it, you know, as far as I'm concerned, you know, but, like, um, you know, kind of figure, trying to figure out, you know, what the Bible's talking about, then you have, like, all these denominations, it's like, how, how can this all go together, this doesn't make sense, these people believe this over here, they believe this over here, you know, one group over here is condemning this group. They're reading the same Bible, you know, and it's just like, this doesn't make any sense. You know, until um, kind of getting into um, the New Covenant and kind of what Paul was talking about, about, you know, anything not of faith is sin. Let me just um, share this. With, I've shared this before. Um, Romans uh, 14, 23. Um, I think it's just a whole Romans 14 kind of goes over all that. Uh, him that is weak in faith receive ye, but not to doubtful disputations. For one believeth that he may eat all things, another who is weak eateth herbs. Let him, let not him that eateth despise him that eateth not, and let not him with, which eateth not judge him that eateth. For God hath received him. Who art thou that judgest another man's servant? To his own master he standeth there falleth. Yea, he shall be holden up. For God is able to make him stand. One man esteemeth one day above another. Another esteemeth every day alike. Let every man be fully persuaded in his own mind. He that regardeth the day regardeth it unto the Lord. And he that regardeth it, regardeth it not to the day... To the Lord he doth not regard it. He that eateth, eateth to the Lord, for he giveth God thanks. And he that eateth not, to the Lord he eateth not, and giveth God thanks. For none of us liveth to himself, and no man dieth to himself. 
For whether we live, we live unto the Lord. And whether we die, we die unto the Lord. Uh, I kind of lost my spot there with this thing popping up. Uh, for whether we live, we live unto the Lord. And whether we die, we die unto the Lord. Whether we live, therefore, or die, we are the Lord's. For to us, or for to this end, both... Uh, uh, to, <laughs> for to this end Christ both died and rose and revived that he might be Lord both of the live, of the dead and the living but why dost thou judge thy brother or why dost thou set at naught thy brother for we shall all stand before the judgment seat of Christ for it is written as I live saith the Lord every knee shall bow to me and every tongue shall confess to God so that every one of us shall give an account uh, of himself to God. Let us not therefore judge one another any more, but judge this rather, that no man put a stumbling block on occasion to fall in his brother's way. I know, and I am persuaded by the Lord Jesus, that there is nothing unclean of itself, but to him that esteemeth anything to be unclean, to him it is unclean. But if thou, bro uh, brother, be grieved with thy meat, now walkest thou not charitably, destroy not him with thy meat, for whom Christ died. Let not your good be evil spoken of, for the kingdom of God is not meat and drink, but righteousness and peace and joy in the Holy Ghost. For he that in these things serveth Christ is acceptable to God, and approved of men. Let us therefore follow after the things which make for peace and things wherewith one may edify another. For meat destroy not the work of God. All things indeed are pure, but it is evil for that man who eateth with offense. It is good neither to eat flesh, nor to drink wine, nor anything whereby thy brother stumbleth, or is offended, or is made weak. Hast thou faith? Have it to thyself before God. Happy is he that condemneth not himself, and that thing which he alloweth and he that doubteth is damned if he eat because he eateth not of faith for whatsoever is not of faith is sin you know, and that's um you know under the new covenant you know kind of a definition but you know you can kind of see um you know part of part of this has to do with like the freedom you know because we're not you know under the law we're under grace is what the bible says numerous times you know, but like, uh, you know, so it's like, okay, so what, you know, what is it about then? You know, it's about faith, you know, and so um, kind of hearing, you know, these different denominations and, you know, it's like, oh, you got Catholic people over here, you have Presbyterian people over here, you have the Baptists, the, the Methodists, the, <laughs> you know, the, all these, the Nazarenes, you got the, you got all these different people, you know, and it's like, um, you know, so so what's going on with that? You know, it's like um, and one thing that comes to mind is their faith. You know, it's, um, this is you know where they're at because of their faith, and they're doing these things out of faith. So you know, you might have a group over here that says one thing. You, know, you have another over here that says something maybe different. You know, instead of like you know going back and forth with each other, you know, just kind of just take a step back and and realize that it's that they're saying what they're saying because that's what they believe. That's their faith. Meanwhile, over here, you know, you have, you know, this group's with their faith, you know, and the thing um, that kind of was a guide or is a guide still, you know, is testing uh, the spirit, you know, to to um, understand if, it, you know, if this is of God, if this is not, you know, what does this mean, you know, and, and not really following the, the, the normal, I guess, course of like, um, <laughs> let me just you know instead of just going there it's like um let me just show you guys in the bible uh, let's do this one yeah and this is kind of a kind of a longer thing you know but this is, i'll just read this whole thing you know beloved this is first john four one through six in the king james uh, version uh, beloved believe not every spirit but try the spirits whether they are of God because many false prophets are gone out into the world hereby know ye the spirit of God every spirit that confesseth that Jesus Christ is come in the flesh is of God 
and every spirit that confesseth not that Jesus Christ is come in the flesh is not of God. And this is the spirit of Antichrist, whereof ye have heard that it should come, and even now already is it in the, in the world. Ye are of God, little children, and have overcome them, because greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. They are of the world, therefore speak they of the world, and the world heareth them. We are of God, he that knoweth God heareth us. He that is not of God heareth not us. Hereby know we the spirit of truth and the spirit of error. You know, so that's um, that's that's one way to test. Here's an here's another. I think this is further down. Yeah, this is just further down in the same thing. Let me find it. Here's another way. You know, whosoever shall confess that Jesus is the Son of God, God dwelleth in him, and he in God. You know, so that'd be another way to test the spirit if someone confesses that you know or you know here's another way Okay, so here's another way. You know, someone says um, that no man can say that Jesus is the Lord but by the Holy Ghost. You know, that's another way, you know, kind of test the spirits. You know, and I believe these things. <laughs> you know, so when I hear people say um, Jesus is the Lord um, or, you know, Jesus is the Son of God or Jesus um, Christ has come in the flesh. You know, I, I pay attention to that, you know, as coming from God, you know, and and that, that's kind of how I start to navigate different things. And so if I hear this denomination over here talking, you know, Jesus has come in the flesh, that Jesus is the Son of God, or, uh, you know, Jesus is, um, is Lord, you know, you, you, you got the Holy Spirit going on there. You know, and that's something that can be trusted because it's of God. That's how I look at it. You know, and so, um, you know, if I'm not hearing that from different things, you know, I, I just don't pay attention to it. it sounds like I got... <laughs> I don't know what's going on outside. It sounds like a... <laughs> Sounds like something crazy, but like uh, you know, that that's kind of how I start to like navigate these different things, you know. And so it's like, um, yeah, watching, you know, kind of back to, you know, this guy traveling over here. You know, I was watching that show, and you know, and Jesus came up, you know, and and you're just watching how you know this kindness of strangers, so refreshing. It almost it just inspires you to be kind to other people. You know, and, and that's kind of like the direction I want to keep uh, pursuing, you know, is kindness, you know, um, you know, because love is one of those words, you know, you hear God is love, you know, you know, what does love mean? You know, love means so many things to different people. You know, the Bible defines it on some level, you know, with this, you know, love is patient. You know, I like to do this at the, the, uh, the NIV, uh, you know, Love is patient. Love is kind. You know, you got the kindness right there. It does not envy. It does not boast. It is not proud. It does not dishonor others. It is not self-seeking. It is not easily angered. It keeps no record of wrongs. Love does not delight in evil, but rejoices with the truth. It always protects, always trusts, always hopes, always perseveres. You know, God is love. So you can look at these attributes as... um kind of 
characteristics of God, you know, of Jesus. I mean, you see how Jesus kind of walked that out when he was here. You know, and uh, then you also have, like, um, let me do um, one of these. You know, the fruit of the Spirit, you know, is love, joy, peace, you know, long-suffering, gentleness, goodness, faith, meekness, temperance. You know, I'm not, you know, I'm still learning these different things. You know, so far I've gotten, you know, the love, joy, and peace is kind of where I've been focusing you know, just those three things, <laughs> you know, but like, uh, you know, loving your neighbor as yourself, you know, trying to, to walk this thing um, out, you know, it's, um, I think another um, term for gentleness, uh, let me, let me pull it up, because I think it's used in different translations as kindness. Man, on the NIV, uh, love, joy, peace, forbearance, kindness, you know, and so, you know, I'm not sure exactly, you know, what forbearance is yet, <laughs> you know, but, you know, walking a space of love, joy, and peace, you know, adding kindness to that, you know, caring about other people, you know, and that could just be a simple thing, you know, just a smile, you know, to somebody that's heartbroken, you don't even need to know, you know, what they're going through. You know, they could have just came from a funeral bearing, you know, bearing somebody they loved a lot. You know, just a simple opening a door for somebody and smiling. It can change everything, you know. And so I really want to encourage, um, you know, people, and maybe just like listening to this is, you know, think about, you know, maybe doing a random act of kindness, making that part of um, your day-to-day you know, just just simple things. You know, it it starts with one one gesture of faith. You know, stepping out in faith that way. You know, you know Jesus talked about you know a lot. You know about just like uh, <laughs> you know, just you know, if someone asks you to go a mile, you go two. You know, if someone you know asks the bar or something from you, just give it to them. If someone asks you know, for for these different things. You know, part of that is kindness. You know, and like, you know, to me at least, you know, and I think it's all things that we grow in, you know, because there, there's, you know, none of us is perfect, you know, including myself, you know, and if, you know, I, I was like maybe just like maybe not feeling it or, you know, whatever, you know, someone asked me to go two miles with them, you know, it'd be like, oh, I don't, don't want to do that, <laughs> you know, but, you know at the same time growing into a space of being able to do that without feeling like uh you know just to be able to be like that you know without having to struggle with the you know and like uh, force yourself to do it just like to want to do that you know the thing i've realized is i've been kind of just like pursuing this you know this walk is like the, the more i just surrender you know the, the more you know that god just works on my heart you know, the the more these things just become like part of you, like an identity, basically. This is like who you are. You know, it's not like a, it's not like a burden. You know, it's it's not like something you have to. Um, it's not a works based thing. Like you got to work to do it. You know, where you have to struggle. You know, it's like a, it's almost like a. The more you surrender. The, the more you know you you start to embrace God's kindness towards you that in this in the way that you know you're not perfect I'm not perfect we we all fall short you know and and part of like um you know thinking that you can um walk in this self-righteous um state big part of that's pride you know because as you really learn you know what the law entails you know, walking this thing out in your own ability to be righteous. There's so many, I mean, you know, Jesus said if you had like a, an adulterous thought, you, you're guilty of adultery. <laughs> you know, if you have like any type of like inner thing that you're not even expressing external to, towards other people, you know, God knows your heart and what's, your, what's going on inside of you. And it's like, it's one thing if you fake a smile and pretend 
but on the inside you're just um, filled with this um you know whatever you know god knows that you're filled with that you know he knows what you're thinking about he knows you know where you're at and it's almost like the more that you just realize um how far um you are and, and how it's depending on his mercy and then you start to realize how how merciful he is you know and you start to feel that 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 kindness you know and that love that god has towards you that you know even when you are at your worst you know jesus still died to save you you know when you were an enemy of god he did that for you you know and you start to realize all the things that god has done for you when you didn't deserve it you know when you didn't uh you know even come close to being uh <laughs> you know you know doing heavenly things you know when you're just basically doing straight evil you know god still loves you you know and and now you put your faith in jesus and you start working on this relationship that's real it's the only thing that is real is your relationship with god you know and it'll last forever you know and and so getting to know your father in heaven you know basically getting to know your brother you know jesus you know getting into the family of god and 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 not as like an outsider but you know as like a prodigal son you know that was off doing you know god knows what now you, you turn back around be received with open arms you know it's powerful you know kindness is powerful you know love is powerful and love can change the world you know and the, and the more that you kind of focus in that direction versus the fear um that the world tries to put you under you know the uh the fears 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 all these anxieties all these problems you know the evil all the this all the them it's really you know it's attacking your faith you know because god is in control you know of everything you know you know sitting there um being in a state of fear is 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 almost like uh, you know you let let go of that and start learning to trust you know and so you know with that being said you know I like to wrap these things up with a um, you know quote unquote random you know Bible verse uh, you know God is a hundred percent in control of literally everything you know He speaks to us in the moment. I just want to give an opportunity to speak to you who's ever listening now. Let's see what he's got to say. Isaiah 53, 2-5 For he shall grow up before him as a tender plant, and as a root out of a dry ground. He hath no form nor comeliness, and when we shall see him, there is no beauty that we should desire him. He is despised and rejected of men a man of sorrows and acquainted with grief and we hid as it were our faces from him he was despised and we esteemed him not surely he hath borne our griefs and carried our sorrows yet we did esteem him stricken smitten of god and afflicted but he was wounded for our transgression he was bruised for our inequities the chastisement of our peace was upon him and with his stripes we are healed there you go you know thank you jesus for that but like uh um, yeah other than that you know i think i'm gonna wrap this thing up I and mean, i don't know I'll see if i can do live stream some other time uh i don't know why it was uh causing issues or you know any of that kind of stuff <clears throat> yeah but you know with that being said you know i appreciate everybody that listens and uh you know vibes with me um yeah and likes and shares and comments you know do, do all that kind of stuff and it will ultimately help you know, spread the gospel. You know, if you you don't know what the gospel is, it's uh I got it um in the description. I'll just read it to you guys. Uh this is the gospel. Uh, moreover, brethren, I declare unto you the gospel which I preached unto you, which also ye have received, and wherein ye stand, by which also ye are saved, if you keep in memory what I preached unto you, unless ye have believed in vain. For I delivered unto you first of all that which I also received how that Christ died for our sins according to the scriptures, and that he was buried, and that he rose again the third day according to the scriptures. 
you know, believe that. That's the truth, and you're saved. You know, ask ask Jesus to save you, and He will. And God is love. This is a free gift. You know, He loves you, forgives you, just wants to have a relationship with you. You know, the time is now. I highly uh, suggest you do that. And um, yeah, with that being said, you know, I appreciate everybody liking and you know all that kind of stuff I just talked about. <laughs> and uh, yeah, with that being said, I think I'll wrap this thing up. And um, yeah, other than that, have a good day, everybody, and uh, God bless.